y'all welcome back to another grocery haul i am so sorry that i have to do this video behind the scenes because i'm half naked and i got the ac on i mean the air the fan on me so if you hear that buzzing sound that's what it is but i wanted to show you this video this the grocery haul that i got and i just want to tell you that i think it's a fantastic deal now keep in mind that this haul is um a lot to do with my granddaughter's coming over and um because i'm trying to watch what i eat and then i had a tooth pulled so i'm having trouble chewing so i have to chew soft food so let's get started so again um i just enjoy these bang drinks and this is rainbow unicorn and um i get it at this particular store because it's ch way cheaper than Walmart then I can't help it I just think this water is just the prettiest thing ever so I always get it and I think it was 98 cents the water I picked up my ride or die Italian sweet cream and it's the Wayne Cole brand which is the store I went to and I'm trying to do this bag first because it has all the cold stuff got one avocado that I'm about to eat right now that was a small fortune I tell you, these people have the nerve to just make an avocado so expensive. This is chicken thighs, and it um, has no hormones or no steroids, no additives. And this bag was only like three something. Keep in mind, it's just me, and it's 48 ounces, three pounds of chicken. The bag of tilapia is, which is one of my staples. It was like five dollars. Um, I got this Argento um, six Italian cheese, and it was a dollar and ninety eight cents. But I just I never seen that before, so I figured I'd give that a try. And I'm praying I'm not disappointed. Now the other day I did go and get some big tuna. Um, the restaurant I went and got sushi, but it's expensive, so I had to try to settle for this today. Hopefully it's good because it's soft enough for me to chew while I'm. You know my mouth is healing another bang a dollar 40 40 maybe less than a dollar 50 and this one is blue raz and then i picked up these they were 177 each i have been hooked on the um the vanilla bean one but these are fine and they were only a 177 each and these are noosa and this is a superior great tasting yogurt but it's soft enough for me to eat while my mouth is healing once again home style salsa this was like three bucks but i love salsa and i have till september to eat it so i have a good ways to go so maybe by the time my mouth heal i can eat it with some lime tostitos and this is the mild and i'm not sure if mild is hotter than medium or vice versa let me know in the comment because i really can't seem to straighten this out in my head even though either way it's still a little spicy for me then i decided to try this as something to chew on because by now i am just craving food i haven't been able to eat for several days and i'm just hungry so this is lobster classic and it's a tap it's imitation lobster meat chunk style and then i got a uh, sharp cheddar cheese because i might just make a batch of macaroni and cheese out of some noodles that i already have this i'm trying for the first time i can't remember what it costs but is some uh, meatballs and then I got this it's just some um, sweet barbecue boneless wings so I got this like to have for dinner but I don't know which way I'm going now that I'm home so I got this and this is a yogurt smoothie and it's um, five grams of protein and this one is pina colada and it comes for where I keep buying these like for 90 something cents whatever individually the same amount so i just thought i'd get this and it was like around three dollars so basically one free so again my granddaughters are coming over so i got um two of these hot pockets um i like the one that says crispy crust and then i got my one other granddaughter she likes the the breakfast ones the other one like the pizza one so i got two pizza ones one for me one for one granddaughter and one for the other all right, let me move this bag out of the way because it is annoying as heck. All right, this, don't make fun of me because I got these. Um, I couldn't help it. A dollar and 90 something cents. These are like kind of pricey. 
I had seen this one when I first walked into the store and it's red, white, and blue, but I, you know, I knew it was going to just probably taste like the original Twinkie. And as I got further in the store, I saw original Twinkie. And like I said, these are things you can put away, hold up, and you know, there's nothing that you have to eat right away. And Ding Dongs. I grew up on Ding Dongs. I really like them a lot. Yeah, I don't know if you can see all of this food going that way. Let's turn you that away. All right, and then, guys, this Hunt's No Preservative Tomato Ketchup was only 90 some cents. Why wouldn't I get it? As much as I hate dying ketchup. So I got a ketchup. If you know, you know. And then I got two cans of the Bumblebee Chunk Light Tuna in water, I believe. Okay. I had bought some hot dogs the other day. And so I just got some buns to go with that. And then some sour cream and onion chips. These was like $1.59. And um, like I said, it's not all for me. And then you have some marshmallows. Can't really see them, but they were like a dollar and change. Another can of bumblebee chunky like tuna. And then two um, Rice Krispie treats for my granddaughter. And I'm going to show you. I'm trying to figure out what I get with the receipt. Okay, it was $60, and it could have been 60 and some change, but nevertheless, it's still pretty much like $60. So, what do you think? Do you think it's worth it? Because I do. I was, like, really shocked because these things were good price, first of all, and so was the chicken thighs and some of the cheeses and stuff, you know? I just think, overall, considering how high prices, how high the prices are for groceries and everything else, I think I did good, even though I wanted some lobster tails and lobster tail and crab legs, but this would do. All right, thank you for watching. This is all I have in this clip. Maybe I'll put another one with it. Maybe I'll just let this be. But if you think it was worth sixty dollars, please thumbs up, leave a comment, and especially you gotta congratulate me on buying some ketchup. Even if I don't have nothing to use it on. But I have it. Alright. Take care. See you on the next clip. I forgot what they came up to. Because I stopped looking after $30. But let's go ahead and get started. With what I have. Um, I have a watermelon sitting over here already. That um, I purchased with this bi-weekly grocery haul. And this is just eating for one person. Which is myself. So, on top right away we have, let's, hold on, the Ezekiel bread, which is a flourless bread, and um, guess what? More avocados to go with this baby. So I had ran out of that. This is one of my staples. It's the, uh, the Sargento's Ultra Thin Provolone Cheese. Um... I have two tomatoes. They're the Roma tomatoes. One banana, because by the time I got to the register, the other one looked kind of funky. So I said, I'll just get that one. And um, I try to get some things to help me because I had oral surgery and my sides of my mouth are hurting and I need softer food to chew. So um, yes, I got um, some kefir, which is a probiotic. And I always get that. It's also a staple. This is pretty much a staple as well. It's the Italian sweet sausage. And sometimes I'll eat it for breakfast. Or I'll actually just make the pasta with it. You've seen many videos cooking for one person where I just cook pasta with it. This is some chuck eye, um, beef chuck eye steak. And it's just, it just looked good. And it looked like not too much meat to overwhelm me. So I got that. I got a basket of strawberries. Um, I got these little mini, um, I was about to say Aretha Franklin, mini Patty LaBelle pies. And I got these because um, they're like soft when I heat them up and don't hurt the side of my mouth when I'm trying to chew. 
I got this and I wanted to buy this for the longest and I started to put it back on my bill wasn't looking quite right but it's the Tezo um, decaf chai latte and yeah I can't wait to sip on this in the evening and you can make it hot or cold sit that over there then can you believe the time I get to the store to buy avocados there aren't any single ones so I have to buy this pack right here and um, you get I got five little avocados in here and the thing is I just really want to eat them and they don't seem that that right yet so all right just as a backup and stocking and easy meals I got a rotini pasta these are only like 79 cents a box the bow tie which I really like these days and then I got um, elbow macaroni elbows because I'm gonna make some macaroni and cheese I bought cheese um, my last grocery haul so that I could make some macaroni and cheese then I picked up one of these because it's always good to have this in my pantry because I just can't go wrong with that. I got a few items because they had flip tops and I need to go through my pantry and my earthquake kit and move, maneuver some things around. Some things that are maybe older, I'm going to move them to the front and then go ahead and put some of these back in the back. Or I'm going to eat them because like I said, I had oral surgery my mouth is sore. So here's some black beans, flip top, yay. Cut green beans, flip top, yay, times two. And then I picked up, um, oh, two black beans. I thought I only had one. I don't know what, yeah. Still can't go wrong with that. I like black beans anyways. And then I got some great northern beans. Um, I made some of these from scratch a while back, and they were so good. But, you know, I'm trying to kind of look into getting softer things to chew once again because of my oral surgery and this is all that I picked up and I'm gonna find that receipt in my pocket what did I do with it okay I think I put it in my purse wallet it's in here this little I know I got the ore gel in here <laughs> might as well take that out because home right now all right I had to buy some or gel the other day and my receipt and the receipt is a total of oh forty dollars so I got all of this for forty dollars two packs of meat um, a nice amount of produce and yeah I did not know it was going to be $40. Yes. $40 and 91 cents. So we're going to go with $41. But I was very, well, you probably can't even see, but I was very selective in these because they were only 50 cents each. And I like that. And of course, these were 79 cents. These are 50 cents each. So there you have it. And then the watermelon was $2.50. So the biggest purchase were the meats and the um, bread. Everything else is reasonable. Strawberries. Oh, one other thing. Hold on a second. Hold it, hold it, hold on a second. I got this bar of soap. This azote soap, but a white one instead of the pink one. I normally buy the pink one all the time, but I got a white one here. And can you see it? Not sure where. Okay, there's that. But I also got a big bag of potatoes. They're not even a big bag of potatoes, but I haven't bought a bag of potatoes and I don't know how long. This is not really a big one, but I'm gonna like boil these down and mash them up and stuff so that I can have these to eat. I have to the um, mashed potatoes that were instant, but I didn't stir it up right and I didn't care for it. And I'd rather just bake the potatoes and have baked potatoes or mashed potatoes or french fries or something. But I know that I can manage getting these soft enough to not hurt my mouth. All right, so now for real, this is what I got for $41, $40.91. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget the thumbs up. And if you like, share the video, and I will see you on my next one. 
once again this is Teresa M aka 50 plus 2013 and this is a bi-weekly grocery bye